Tyson Fury, but if you do your research on Nicholas Asbury, he's nothing new to Tyson Fury's training camp. He has been around in, in training camps with some of the best, you know, and he is floated and has been around in the boxing game and in the boxing gyms. But a lot of people took him as somebody who was just made up and lying. But if you do your research, all the proof you need is right there. of Nicholas Asbury is not new. The claims of Barry Robinson, Lawrence DeColey's trainer, is Barry Robinson is the founder of a million boxing training system. It is a training system that is vastly used in MMA and in boxing. And he speaks on his experiences and his time in camp with Tyson Fury, Nicholas Asbury, and Lawrence Ticoli. From the first day of sparring, Lawrence always wore 20 ounce sparring gloves, typically in heavyweight sparring for protection of both athletes. In addition to that precaution, Timothy Alcock, the manager for Team Fury, would sprint towards us prior to sparring to ensure I put a quarter jar of Vaseline on both of Lawrence's gloves. In a rookie move, I never bothered to check Team Fury's gloves. Also, given the level of the camp and the teams that were there, I assume everything was being done with class and safety in mind. Nearly two weeks of sparring went by when the subject of this blog entry reared its ugly head. On a non-sparring day, I really wanted Lawrence to go through some of a million-style boxing regimen. Since sparring was canceled that Wednesday, I decided to take Lawrence to the gym Tuesday night to drill. Nicholas joined us. After we were all finished training, Nicholas went into the changing area to change his clothes. Note, 
Nicholas, who had sparred Fury at a camp prior to this camp, kept saying consistently for two weeks that he couldn't believe how hard Tyson was punching. He said in other camps, Tyson's power was nothing like this camp. Lawrence and I thought nothing of it because Tyson couldn't hit Lawrence to save his life this camp. Nicholas emerged from the change in area irate. He was steaming mad. He produced Fury's gloves from the changing area and exhibit how they were very clearly no padding in them. I was very disappointed in this moment. I was very disappointed in this moment. Why? I gave Lawrence a huge lecture before we started camp about being professional, being on time, being the first to the gym and the last to leave. Up to that point, Lawrence had performed admirably as a student and inside of the ring as a novice sparring partner. Lawrence performed so well, Team Fury often argued with each other openly about their visions for the upcoming fight with Wilder. I did my best to explain to Team Fury that their desires for Fury to throw 100 punches, a sparring round, in this particular camp in preparation for a fight with Deontay Wilder was in fact a very flawed approach that would be given Wilder way too many opportunities to punch back. I told them and Fury to keep the punch count low on the fight night as it's easier to defend 10 wilder punches a round than having to defend 30 or 50. Nicholas decided to leave camp the next day, which he did. Lawrence and I made plans of our own. We were going to take Team Fury to school even worse than we've been doing so far in this camp. The next sparring day, there was an awkward energy in the air. I was pissed that they'd been cheating this entire time while ensuring that I was putting tons of Vaseline on Lawrence's 12 ounce gloves. I was also pissed that here I am in Lawrence, nobody's in comparison to the coaches in Team Fury's corner. Fury himself, they bought Lawrence here to whoop his ass and they thought they were going to do it with loaded gloves. The next sparring day, Fury managed the next sparring day, Fury manager approaches me with a new pair of gloves in plastic in his hands. He never mentioned the glove drama. He was just saying, good morning and how are things, etc. Ensuring that these new gloves was in my plain sight, Tyson got ready for sparring. Due to Nicholas leaving, we were down to two sparring partners. No one made mention of the gloves Nicholas found in his decision to leave the camp. It was as if it never happened. Tyson, ready for sparring in the ring, was pumping himself up by saying today he was going to take sparring partners to school. That wasn't happening. Not on my watch. Sparring started. Lawrence completely dictated the sparring. And I finally broke. I kept calling out commands and positions and simulations saying we did it the right way. It was uncomfortable in the room. Ben came to me in the corner during sparring, gave me a hug, apologized, and asked me to settle down. This was the end. Team Fury learned a huge lesson this camp. I believe how Fury fought Wilder was a direct result of how Lawrence sparred him. It woke up the coach, Ben and Fury, that boxing smart wins fights, period. If you enjoyed this episode of Rising Glove, make sure you go over to my Patreon page where there's much more episodes of Rising Gloves and several other series. So come join and become a patron and let me show you what YouTube doesn't want you to see.